was staying in the nation's capital where the coalition of pastoralist associations of Nigeria has called the attention of the federal government to the plight of herders. The body alleged that some non-state actors are attempting to destroy the cattle-rearing business um, in the country and chase the Fulani away. Correspondent Habida Lawal reports. Recent years have witnessed an increase in violent conflicts involving pastoralists in parts of West Africa and the Sahel. These conflicts are primarily driven by a competition for land, water and forage, but there are also political and socio-economic factors involved. At this meeting of leaders of various pastoralist groups, the main issue on the table is how the natural resources are managed and allocated as pastoralists are both victims and actors in these conflicts. At least there should be justice and equity. So we are not talking about, we are, we are, we are here as a coalition to drive the project of ensuring peace and stability. And the, everybody in Nigeria is aware it is the full law, it is the full law. Every meeting you hear, if there is any uh, crime committed by any tribal group in Nigeria, they will say it's the hearts man. And we have heard it over and over. Even senior Nigerians that are not of uh, Fulani extraction have alluded to that. First, we have the hearts men now coming from West Africa. Because of climate change, they have to leave West African countries because of the ECOWAS protocol on transhumans, they are free to come into the northern part of this country. Because pastoralists are very mobile, these conflicts can be difficult to contain and spills across borders. Increased use of firearms has intensified rural conflicts. This is particularly the case where farmer header conflicts get intermixed with communal conflicts, compounding the prevailing insecurity in this area. Whenever you hear of banditry, you must also hear about cows being arrested in banditry. Who are the owners of the cows in this country? They are the pastoralists. We want about 98% cattle owners in this country. Whenever you hear of the cattle arrested, that cow is not responsible for the pastoralists. To support the effort of federal and state to stop these violent clashes is by reinforcing community and security dialogue. Habib Alawal, TVC News, Abuja.